you know, had always wanted to move to the Northwest, and as a grad student in Simon Fraser in geography, I used to sit in the rain on Burnaby Mountain and see the shiny spot out in the water. And the next day, it would be raining, and the shiny spot was still there. And a friend of mine uh, named Diane had parents out here, and so we went out to see the shiny spot, and uh, I got infected, and I couldn't stay away. I mean, Galliano is a nice island to sail past and everything, but uh, Montecu just has a, a very home feeling for me, and it's a, it's a harbor I come back to every year. And this is, like I said, my second stop this year, and, and it never gets old, and, and it's just, just nice anchorage, and it's a comfortable place to be. So, um, I, I bypass the San Juan, so I come straight to the Gulfs when I come from the States. I, like I said, I did, a, I did an 11-hour trip from Seattle up to Sydney, my first day up, clear the customs and come up. I mean, if I have my way, I'm usually in the Gulfs over uh, the San Juans because there's so many boaters. Um, it's tight anchorages, uh, the islands are a bit smaller. Absolutely, you feel, absolutely. You feel really connected to it. You, you, you feel connected to nature's rhythms and, and the power of it. Um, yeah. Nothing beats uh, a following sea and riding down a wave. And It's, it's funny, sailing's um, the only adrenaline sport where the speeds involved are about a walking pace. What is it? 99% um, pure boredom and 1% terror. I mean, it's an incredible place to, to explore by kayak, I think, or, or any kind of water craft. If the weather's up and it's a really windy day, that's when you're set up for sailing, right? And if it's especially calm and flat, then, that, then the kayak comes into like a, a bit of perfection. Like you, you know, the kayak will beat. Um, it, the kayak beats the boat when there's no wind, and the, the boat will, the sailboat will beat the kayak when there's tons of wind. I get a lot of joy out of that, you know, making people realize, you know, why the rocks look the way they do, or why the, how the tides move, or why the bark peels in October, or August rather than October, or why the leaves fall off in, in uh, July rather than in September, or things like that. Because people look at things and they take it the way you do with a photograph of the Rockies, you know, like, that's the way it is. But like a farmer, doing feels feel to me it's constantly changing and until people start to see that particularly younger people and immigrants we're never going to turn around this big problem we have where we're bump into somebody who'll catch me I'll be happen to be in Vancouver or, or Victoria or someplace or uh, Pemberton or someplace to say oh you're Ben, the kayak guy, right? Do you remember the time we saw that seal? And it's like... <laughs> yeah, they're still living off of that memory. Well, I mean, to me, it's like, you know, there are seals everywhere. What are you talking about? <laughs> which seal? Which day? Whatever. But the point is, it does make that, that impression. And, and it's so nice because to them, it was a cherished thing. I get a tremendous amount of enjoyment out of uh, uh, having people see things that are very obvious to me that they don't see because their appreciation is phenomenal. Yeah. Right, really nice. That's People like having beauty pointed out to them.